Hi, it's Elder. Welcome to a new video, which is not about iPhone for the first time in a while. I have been using the iPhone 12 mini since returning my iPhone 12 Pro Max as a dead pixel. And I have a lot of things to say about this, but I will be doing that in a separate video. Today I want to talk about my favorite web design tool, which is of course Blogs for Mac. Many of you are Blogs users, so you probably already know about the new Blogs 4, which has been released a couple of days ago. I'm not going to list all of the features we have in Blogs 4, I will leave the link to the website in the description below, so we can go to the official website and see all of the amazing features and watch the beautiful promo video they have there. But what I will do is answer one of two very popular questions I have been getting in recent days. The second question, which I'm not going to answer in this video, is whatever you should pick the Blocks 4 or Blocks 4 Plus, the new advanced version of Blocks, which has some cool features like, of course, ability to export the WordPress themes. I'm still testing the WordPress theme support at the moment. I'm actually working on the new Blocks 4 Plus WordPress theme for Blocks 4 templates members, which will be released in coming weeks. So I will be answering the question about wherever it is worth to go the Pro. It's not a Pro actually, I think it's Plus. Blocks 4 Plus. Did I say Pro? I will be getting to the conclusion on that, on this question, a little bit later, in a couple of weeks. In this video I want to tell another story. The story of me using Blocks 4 alongside Blocks 3 for the past 9 months. And yes, I have been better testing the Blocks 4, and during this time I have been experiencing interesting things which I want to share with you today, which I hope will help you make a decision wherever Blocks 4 is worth it for you. And this is actually the second popular question I was getting. Should I buy Blocks 4 or should I upgrade from Blocks 3 to Blocks 4? And let me start this actually addressing people who don't know what Blocks is. If you like building websites or you would like to have your own website but you don't want to pay somebody to build it for you, Blocks 4 is the best tool you have on the market right now for Mac applications, Mac web design applications. Of course, you can use services like WordPress, like Squarespace, like others, Webflow and others. These are cool as well, but if you want to have an app on your Mac, simple native app on your Mac, which produces the high quality websites, which you can upload to your server and basically manage as you like anytime, while saving lots of money, to be honest, you don't have to pay to like Squarespace every month. Well. Blocks 4 is the best tool you can get right now. Like really, I have tried all of them and there is no better option. But the second part of this question is, if you already have a very powerful Blocks 3, should you upgrade to Blocks 4? And to tell you the answer to this question, let me share two experiences I had during this nine month beta testing Blocks 4. So, since the start of pandemic, in February, I think, I have been using Blocks 4. I had it on my Mac, I was mastering it, I was getting used to its workflows, but at the same time, basically every day, I needed to go back to Blocks 3, because I needed to maintain my offerings for Blocks templates or Blocks master tutorials, and I needed to provide the customer support to my clients and just regular Blocks users, like, basically every day, I would get a question or many questions actually asking me how to do something in Blocks 3, of course, at the time. I knew that Blocks 4 already could do that so much easier, so much simpler, but I had to provide the alternative solution in Blocks 3, which is fine, but 90% of the time you will get the same result in Blocks 3 and Blocks 4. Like basically the end result will be very close. 
but the way you will have to take to get there, the techniques you will have to use to have, for example, the vertical navigation, to have like Z index applied to some of the elements, or to have like shape dividers, like between your blocks, like things like that were so much more difficult in blocks 3. In blocks 4, these are just like with a couple clicks of a button. I don't know the exact words, but I think there's a saying like that. You don't know what you love until you don't have it. Something like that. You don't know what you miss until it's gone. Oh, I think it's something like that. You don't know what you miss until it's gone. And this was the story for me of using blocks 4 and blocks 3 side by side. Like, I never knew I needed the new feature in blocks 4, which is toggle class interaction. It doesn't sound like much, it basically sounds like if you click on something you can toggle the class, basically make some other element a little bit different. It didn't sound like much at the time, but after using this feature, like for example for my blog's templates website, where I can just add this interaction to my images or my links or buttons and with a click of the button I can create, for example, the full screen overlay pages. And on these pages, there's another click of the button. I can switch between the versions of the same template, all without leaving the page. Things like that. And it's just one of the examples. You can do so much more with these little new features. And this is actually why I like blogs, and not just blogs for any blogs since version 1 or maybe 2, is that you have these tools, you have these features, but you are not limited to use them in some certain way. For example, shape dividers. You can use them as they were intended to, to like create some beautiful dividers between the blocks or sections of your web page, or you can use them like completely differently to create some beautiful background effects and background like layouts on your page, so it's not boring. And there are so many features like this we have in blocks four. For example, CSS image effects. We can add the multiple bugs and text shadows or other effects to any element, for example. We have flex classes inside the class editor and much, much more. And I'm not talking about the other big features like, for example, writer mode, which allows you to turn everything off and concentrate on your writing. I mean, we live in the world of spam. I mean, not that spam, but in the world of spam in your inbox. So having the new Google recapture brick is very useful. It will help us to reduce the amount of spam we get from our forums on our websites. Unfortunately, we live in a world when people don't care about your rights and they can steal your work, they can just use your images and sell them as their own or maybe even showcase them as their own work. I have been experiencing something like this firsthand. Well, in Blocks 4 we now have just a simple checkbox and you can Ticket to enable the site-wide image protection. I mean, it will not stop these people from stealing your work completely, but it will make it more difficult for them. Of course, we have things like social cards, which are integral part of any website these days. I mean, we want our websites to become popular. We want them to be shared on social media. Now in Blocks 4, we have ability to add the preview images to our pages. So now when people will share your web page on Twitter or Facebook, instead of looking like this, it will look more something like that. And this is much better for engagement and you have a higher chance of somebody clicking on the link which has this beautiful image attached to it. And notice I'm not even talking about the biggest feature of Blogs for Plus, which is WordPress theme support. And I'm going to do that in a separate video in December after I finish working on my new Blocks 4 WordPress theme, which will be coming very soon in coming weeks to Blocks templates. So if you're new to Blocks, go check them out on their website. I will leave the link in the description below. And if you are a Blocks 3 user, I highly recommend to get Blocks 4 because you don't know what you miss until you really get used to Blocks 4. So once again, thanks for watching and I will talk to you very soon.